Hey there, how's it going? What's up, everybody? Irish Rantane is back to pass along what you need to know to get better at Madden and grow your mutt team. Enjoy the show. Today, we have another top 10 to bring you. In the past, we have talked about fullbacks and tight ends and some front seven defenders in the 4-3 and 3-4 and which can excel at each of those. And today, I am excited to go and talk about some of those speedier players in the defensive backfield. Um, we have an honorable mention, actually, before we get into this top 10 um he will be one of these top 10 players when he gets his upgrade but it has yet to come Aeneas Williams he is someone I've kept my eye on all year and I've put in my top 10 list in the past he is very good at a lot of things his speed is a little bit lower now um, when you include his height into that mix but as you can see he's very solid straight across the board he's actually good at blitzing and he is good um, in the run game as well and when he gets his next bump all of those things will get plus two to plus threes and he will become elite at absolutely everything and be tremendous in the run game but he is not quite there yet and we're just talking about those top 10 players that are in. Coming in at number 10, we have Jack Tatum. He is someone that can help you out tremendously in the run game. A lot of people bring those people into the box, and he is one of the best at that. The one thing that he does lack a little bit is, is his height, and as you can see as we go through this list, um, height does matter considerably. He will be getting another upgrade sometime soon, but even even though, excuse me, um, he has not gotten that next upgrade, I do consider him absolutely elite. You can just let him roam by himself, and he'll be able to knock everything down. Um, his speed is a little bit wanting, so if you run a zone scheme, it will be much, much better for him. As you can see, his man is low as well, but that does not slow down players such as such as Sean Taylor. So you can just consider that as well. But Jack Tatum is a tremendous add to your team. Coming in at number nine, we have Night Train Lane. He is tremendous at pretty much everything that he does. He's a little bit better at zone than in man, but with his jump, his play rec, acceleration, agility, he is an upper echelon cornerback and he as you all know is great in the run game cornerbacks don't have that extra bump like halfbacks can't catch quite as well um, they don't want you just subbing in your cornerbacks at safety but he is someone that you can actually do those sort of things with and if you invert your safeties and corners he'd be a perfect player to be able to do that with as well um, again, zone might be a little bit better for him since he doesn't have that 99 speed. But with his height and other athletic attributes, he definitely makes up for it. Coming in at number 8, we have Byron Jones. I really wish the Redskins would have made moves to go out and get this player. He has moved from safety to cornerback, and some of those attributes hold over, and he is near perfect athletically. He does leave a little bit to um, be wanting um, with his ability to lock some people down. Um, considering he is more of a lockdown cornerback than a night train lane in the passing game. There is a reason that Jones got moved to cornerback. He's definitely more gifted at that position, so he's going to be on the list with physical phenoms um, that just have near-perfect athletic ability but leave a little bit wanting there. But his 99 jump is tremendous, and he'll be a great fit on absolutely any team. He can fit at um, any of the three cornerback spots, and you can use him as sort of a free safety and cover threes as well. Coming in at number seven, we have Richard Sherman. I really like the way that Josh Norman kind of compares with him, but the thing that you cannot teach is height and being six foot three and having that 98 agility. This is starting to look like his rookie card, um, and then he still has those. Um, zone and man coverage stats that he kind of excelled at later in his career so it's a kind of a blend to make him kind of a near perfect cornerback if his speed was a little bit higher he would be absolutely perfect I wouldn't want him 
regarding streaks and press coverage against Randy Moss consi consistently. As you can see, his press is very, very good. If you have a little bit of help with that, that should work well. But just think about that before you do um, those sort of things. He does have the acceleration to kind of catch up to that, but it is not quite elite at this point. He is six. I keep going back to him being six foot three and his 98 jumping just makes him able to jump with any wide receiver in the game. So just consider that if you are having trouble in those regards, he'll be able to shut down those Jimmy Grahams. Coming in at number six, we have Antoine Bethea. I have had him on my team, as you can see right here, for quite a while. He is a tremendous fit. If you want to play him at either safety or bring him into the box, his great tackling and other attributes just make him an elite player. He can get up to that 99 speed. He is a little bit shorter, so putting him man-to-man um, -man on Randy Moss is probably not the best thing to do, but he is a tremendous box safety and can run with the likes of Tyreek Hill. Um, secure tackler is something that I should have also pointed out with Jack Tatum. That kind of sets him apart from some other safeties at this point. And being able to run with that just absolutely ridiculous speed is absolutely fantastic. It makes me want to keep him on the field compared to some other safeties, but um, it's really hard. Um, it's really hard to keep him off the field. That's all I'll say at this point. I definitely would advise getting him. It's not going to be that expensive at this point. Um, just kind of pick when you do want to get him, and you'll be able to get him at a really cheap price. Coming in at number five, we have Deion Sanders. The reason he is at this point of the list is, as you can see, he is near perfect at what he does. He'll be able to just take out that number one wide receiver, and he won't have to worry about it. If everything in the game is working correctly for you that day, sometimes the... Um, computer just doesn't want your players to do exactly what you want. Everyone has those struggle games. But if everything is going well, this is the perfect cornerback to lock someone down. He just does not have those abilities to excel at being able to shut down the run. If you are just kind of start off and you pull this player, just keep him and just let him run because he has those perfect stats for you. But if you are getting a little bit later in the game, you can get players that are better at other things potentially um, and have 95, 96 speed and excel at other things. And that speed isn't taking away from those other stats. Because really looking at this, he should be a 99 overall. But the reason he's not is because he is not quite as good at um, stopping the run, even though for some reason he can lay hit sticks this year. Coming in at number four, we have Mel Blount. He is tremendous at everything that he does, and he's able to shut down the run as well. He is another one of those players that has that six foot three, and when you power him up, he is able to shut near anyone down. Not a lot more that I really need to say about him. We've talked about height. And he just fits the bill and is going to be perfect at everything that you want him to do. To be honest, I've seen him shut down enough people while watching Gut Fox. It's really hard to put him any lower on this list. He just goes out and plays and excels. Coming in at number three, we have Patrick Peterson, the absolute perfectly physical player. Um, once you power him up, he will get pretty much 99s straight across the board. Um, as you see, I have been able to play with him. Um, and with those other things that you are looking to boost up, if you have Sprinter and Coach Madden and are able to get um, Madden Pass D, you will get those huge bumps for him and he will be a tremendous player for you you really can't have a better lockdown cornerback he's a little bit taller than Dion being at 6'1 compared to six foot tall and also he can press as well he is a perfect lockdown cornerback and
for some reason, he can also play pretty well in the run game this year. They're allowing a lot of cornerbacks to be able to do that. Um, something else to really consider is his um, ability to really go up and catch the ball every time it goes in his direction. His spectacular catch and catch just allow him to go out and nab it every time. Coming in at number two, we have Landon Collins. As you can see, he can be boosted up immensely and he fits in and can be nearly perfect. And when you can have those near perfect stats across the board with a strong safety at this point, you just have to go out and do it. I do not think it is even close that he is better than every other strong safety out there. He can play in coverage like Ed Reed. He's always there making plays. He's going to be able to smuck people without you having to switch over to him. He is just the perfect strong safety, and you have to go out and get him. And if you are a Giants or a Redskins fan, even better, because he will play even better for your team. Coming in at number one, we have Sean Taylor. He is another one of those guys that is near perfect across the board. He is the best free safety in the game. His athletic ability and ability to play in the box is tremendous. He also comes in with that 6-2. Um, I can do a little bit more and get that man coverage all the way up to 90, but I'm focusing a little bit more on my offense as I'm going through a little bit of a quarterback comparison um, in some other videos. But his tackling is the one thing that leaves a little bit to be wanting. But his ability to play um, any zone coverage like a cornerback and play man coverage um, just about the same is something to just absolutely amaze yourself with. Get him on the field. His 99 acceleration is an absolute boom as well. But just go out and get some of these upper echelon safeties and corners and you'll be able to shut down anybody else that you come across. And uh, a lot of people really like to... Um, pass the ball you come across the more often than not when you're playing in weekend league so just add a couple of these players if you are wanting in any of those positions um, yeah I can't say any more about them they're all becoming just absolutely great players so look at some of the tackling and other things a little bit more as all of them are able to play that zone coverage and um, run really well also I wish you all the best, and let me know if anybody else should have made my list or if there are anybody else coming up the lines that I really should be thinking about as well. But take care, everybody. Thank you for checking into the Irish and Rain Tang channel. Keep coming back to get better at men and grow your mutt team. There will be at least five videos up a week, so make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to see them all. Come by Twitch to engage and hit me up on Twitter at Irish and Take care and much love, everybody.